Hi, uh, my name's Beth and I'm here to show you a Messy Church craft project. Last week in our Messy Church, we discussed Ruth and Naomi, their friendship and their love for each other and their love for God. And we were thinking about lots of different things to do. And one of the things we decided upon was to do a love heart wreath. And they're so easy to do. And you can use them for loads of different subjects in Messy Church. It doesn't have to be Ruth and Naomi, for example. They're also really good for Easter, Mother's Day, and you can adapt them as you go. And they're so easy. So it's the bog standard paper plate. And we all can, we know how important paper plates are in Messy Church. So the first thing I did, this is a small paper plate, as you can see. So the very first thing I did, so I folded it in half. Made a little cut with my trusty scissors. And then I cut out the middle of the paper plate. Now this one, you can see it's got a nice, nice line so you can really see where your line's gonna be. Um, you don't have to worry about using a compass or anything to make sure your circle is perfect. And you don't have to make sure your circle is perfect anyway. Because that's the fun of it, isn't it? And if you're doing this for your messy church and you've got lots of small children, it might be an idea to pre-do this bit. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a reasonably round hole I've cut out. And the next thing we did was the, we used some pencils simply to colour in the, uh, the plate because we didn't want the, the white showing through all of it. Um, this, I'm using orange at the moment. But when we did Messy Church, we used different pinks and reds and things like that because we wanted it to go along with the heart theme. So it's basically a pencil. Here's one I did earlier in good old Blue Peter tradition. And you can see that I've made a little hole in it as well. And the hole is for a small piece of ribbon just to tie it up. So we can use it as a wreath. And it just so happens that this piece is orange, which goes beautifully with the colour that I've chosen to colour it in. Right. Put my glasses on for this bit, it's a bit tricky. So it comes with an age, doesn't it? You have to put your glasses on, you don't know what you're doing. Right, so I'm just gonna pop that through there. And now you've got your base for your wreath. So very simple. So the other thing that I pre-did is I cut out heart shapes and I used different bits of paper, some wallpaper there, pink paper, corrugated paper, um, old envelopes from, from Mother's Day, stuff like that, uh, some tissue paper. And I also cut out some small green leaves. And this is the bit where the, the children um, that come into Messy Church or Sunday School or whatever can just, they can really use their imaginations. We use normal glue. It's always fun, isn't it? It's uh, one of the things with Messy Church is making sure that your, your glue dries before home time. So I've just put some on that leaf. I've put way too much on there. So I'll just move that over there. So I've got a leaf. So I'm going to start with my leaves. And I'm just going to stick it there. That's a good place to stick it. And uh, have I got any more leaves? Oh, you know, you, so these, I always use the leftovers to show you these videos from what we've actually done. At messy church and you never know what you're going to come home with because sometimes you come home with loads of stuff and sometimes you come home with very very little it all depends on how uh, how invested the the children are on that particular day when they're making the the crafts which we you know i absolutely love so i'm just going to balance this one a little bit because it just i think it just sits a little bit better uh, I mean, we had so many. We even had some of these with elephant stickers on them because some of the kids found some stickers and they were like, oh, can we put the stickers on them? Of course you can. So that's the start of it. It's got a couple of leaves on it. And then I'm just going to stick some hearts on. So I've got a, a big pink heart there I can use. And you don't need a lot of glue either. It is just... Probably get the table covered in glue. So there's one heart. You can put as many hearts on as you want or not. You really, it's entirely up to you. Put a little bit of glue on that one. Stick that one down there. So that's on top of another one. And um, I, I, I'm just going to layer them. Sort of like a, give a bit of an effect. And so we found uh, a lot of the children that were, were making these, they were like, oh, we can give these to our mummies for, for Mother's Day, because Mother's Day was last week. And uh, we just thought that was really sweet. 
and then you can always adapt it you know you can put some easter things on it for example because uh, easter is coming up um today is the 18th of march 2024 if you're wondering when it is that uh, i've recorded this because sometimes when you watch videos back you don't know how old they are do you but right so there's there's a good start oh I'm losing a leaf it's a uh, story of my life my leaves are falling off i've got a little bit more i'm gonna put some more glue i'm just i'm using the inside of the paper plate as a glue dish really so put a, a little bit on on that one that's a piece of old wallpaper stick that one down there i don't think uh Another red one, maybe. Little cardboard one. And a lot of this stuff, it, it's come out of, you know, your craft boxes. Because you, you've always got bits of paper left over, haven't you? It doesn't matter what craft you do. There always seems to be something left over. Um, and I put, put one of my little tissue, my tiny tissue paper hearts on there as well. Just to give it a little bit of an extra colour. Put them there. And then we were lucky enough to find these. The tiny paper flowers. So we, I found those in the in our Sunday school cupboard, in with the stickers. I'm just going to stick that on there, and that, oh, that's fallen off. So that was that was a really good example, wasn't it? That bit's fallen off. Sorry about that. Try that one again. Oop, tuck it in again. Push it down. So obviously, when you're doing it, you have a lot more time for it to dry and things. Um, make sure that they're not going to fall off. I'll hold this up carefully this time. So there is our little love heart wreath. Now, as I say, you can you can go all the way around. You can fill it with hearts. You could put Easter eggs on it. You could put crosses on it. You could fill it with flowers. So you could adapt it anywhere you want for your messy church or Sunday school session. You could even do a Noah's Ark one where you just cover it with animals, I suppose. Um, we also did some of these in Sunday school. And we put a little sticker at the bottom. We just wrote on a small piece of card, God loves us. And it just finished it off really nicely. So there you go. That is our love heart wreath. So easy, so cheap to do as well. Because we have to think about the cost and the waste as well, don't we, for when we're doing messy church activities. Because it isn't always cheap. Um, but paper plates are always our friend. So thank you very much for watching and I'll have to see you soon. Bye.